हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कांसेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन राकेश हैड मनी टू बाय एट मोबाइल हैंडसेट्स ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक कंपनी बट द रिटेलर ऑफर्ड वेरी गुड डिस्काउंट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर हैंडसेट Rakesh could buy 10 mobile handsets with the amount he had what was the discount the retailer offered this question is asked in 2019 from profit and loss chapter very easy question my friends see in this problem we are not bothered about cost of mobile handsets their actual value all we want here is the discount in terms of percentages my friends so we are free to take the cost of mobile handsets as any value according to that the discount will be obtained and this discount doesn't depend on this cost my friends okay so the funda here is that we are not dealing with the exact values we are dealing with the percentages so we can take the mobile handset cost as anything so for simplicity purpose let's say i have 800 rupees with me and i went to mobile shop to buy these eight mobile handsets now what is the price of each mobile handset 800 by 8 okay that is 100 rupees my friends so i have 800 rupees with me and each mobile handset cost is 100 rupees now i can buy eight mobile handsets with this amount clear right now what shop owner did is he gave very good discount now with this amount i was able to buy 10 mobile handsets now what is the cost of each mobile handset total money i have by number of mobile handsets i bought okay this is 80 rupees now this is the regular price without discount my friends okay it's a regular price now with discount this is selling price now what is the discount formula regular price minus selling price by regular price okay discount will be given on regular price my friends okay we want percentage right so multiplying with 100 so regular price is 100 minus selling price is 80 by regular price into 100 100 100 gets cancels 100 minus 80 is 20 so 20% discount so our answer is b you could just directly tell by looking at these two values but again the discount formula is just this regular price minus selling price by regular price in 200 now let's solve this problem conventionally some people will be having problem in assuming the cost we assumed the amount i had to buy mobile handsets right that is 800 rupees some people will be having problem in assuming this they don't know which value will make their life easier so in that case no worries just assume the amount rakesh had to buy eight mobile handsets okay let's assume the total amount as x so rakesh had x rupees to buy eight mobile handsets now what is the cost of each mobile handset that is uh, x by 8 this is the regular price my friends okay at which the shop owner has to sell the mobile handset but he is a good guy he is giving the discount now rakesh could buy 10 mobiles with this amount now what is the cost of each mobile that is a x by 10 my friends okay this is a selling price now we want percentage of discount offered that is a regular price minus selling price by regular price into 100 discount is calculated on regular price my friends okay you are giving discount on this price my friends now regular price is x by 8 selling price is x by 10 by regular price is x by 8 into 100 now this is a 10x minus 8x by 80 by x by 8 into 100 this is a 2x by 80 by x by 8 into 100 now this is 2x into 8 by 80 into x into 100 x x gets cancels 8 ones are Eight tens a zero zero. So this is a twenty percent, my friends. Okay, so our answer is B. This is what we did in the previous method, my friends. We just assumed X as eight hundred. This assuming the simplest value comes with the practice, my friends. In case if you don't get any idea, then just take it as X. No problem. Now one more important observation. See. 
discount is not dependent on h my friends h got cancelled out here that's what i am saying you take any value of h discount will be independent of that so i took 800 you can take 200 also no problem 800 will make my job easier so the learning here is that when we are dealing with percentages not with exact values we can take we can assume that those are cost prices as anything my friends okay it doesn't have any effect on the final value clear right